Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it is another new year and I know that all of us are looking forward to new travels and new locations to holiday with our friends and family. And in today's video, we're going to look at how to renew the 14th most powerful passport and 5th most powerful passport from Asia. And this is the Malaysian passport. So before we renew this passport, I appreciate you can like this video and subscribe to this channel below. So you're going to search for something along the line of Malaysian Immigration Passport Renewal. And then click Jabatan Immigration Malaysia. And then in the next page, you want to search for My Online Passport here. So click it to go to the next page. So this is an introduction by the Immigration Department, whereby the My Online Passport is one of the easy types of ways for Malaysian citizens to make an application to renew the Malaysian passport online. And the online application, the payment can be done via credit card or debit card through FTX. So the period for the renewal and the release of the passport. So the applicant can choose to collect the passport at the registered or listed passport office in the system. And the date and time to collect the passport will be determined by the system on that day and time when the application is made. Then we're going to scroll down some more. So here's the sample photo and also the certification when you want to upload the passport photo. And then if you scroll down further, so if you notice above the background and the sample of the photo, so it says here that the background of the photo has to be white color without any shadow. And the background cannot have any other colors. If not, the photo will be rejected. And then the clothing has to be dark colored clothing and you have to cover the shoulders and the chest. And for women who wear tudung or hijab, they must wear dark colored tudung or hijab and you cannot cover the face. Then fourthly, you cannot wear spectacles, sunglasses or any accessory on the head. And the photo that's uploaded has to be in a soft copy and advised to be taken at the professional photo studio. And Polaroid photos are not allowed. So you can see the sample photo for further explanation. Then thirdly here for applicants that are below 18 years old, only authorized guardians are allowed to make the application online for the applicants that are below 18 years old. And the authorized guardians have to be present at the immigration office when collecting the passport. If the guardian is not present, the passport won't be released to the applicant. Then fourthly, the applicant must upload the latest passport size photos. Then number five, payment can be made via credit or debit card and the payments are as follows. For normal applicants that are between 13 to 59 years old, the fee is 200 ringgit and then for senior citizens who are 60 years old and above, the fee is 100 ringgit. Then number six here, the below applicants are not allowed to make applications online. So applicants who are OKU or disabled or children below 13 years old or students who are renewing their studies or people going for haji or pilgrimage, they cannot make the application for the passport renewal online. Then number seven, the applicant has to attend on their own to collect the passport and also bring along the IC, the current passport, whether it's expired or not, and also the receipt of the payment. Representatives are not allowed to collect the passport on behalf. Then number eight, Failure to bring the above documents or attend when collecting the passport will cause the immigration department not to release the passport. So number 12 here, illegal citizens or citizens who break the law overseas, not in Malaysia, are not allowed to make applications online. Then number 13, there is no refund policy for any application that don't fulfill the terms and conditions and also they don't have valid visa or pass in the passport. Then additional information for applicants that are 18 years and below. They have to bring along their birth cert and also the guardian have to be present when collecting the passport. So after scrolling down, click agree to agree with the terms and conditions of birth. And then the next stage here is the category for the application. So you choose here whether you are applicants who are 18 years old and above or applicants that are below 18 years old. So for this tutorial video, we are going to do for applicants that are 18 years and above. So you're going to key in your current passport that you have, the expired passport, and then also the IC number, and then choose which type of document. 
So you can choose whether it's passport from Peninsular Malaysia or from Sabah or Sarawak. So in this video, we're going to select passport Malaysia to Menanjung or passport from Peninsular Malaysia. And then we're going to choose category. So the category here to support the passport document, we're going to choose my card, my kit or my tentera. So next, we're going to choose the collection office or the office where we're going to collect the passport. So we're going to choose in the country, in Malaysia here. And then the, the locations that you can choose from. So for this video here, my example will be Kerala Jaya Immigration Office. And then the reminder here, below there's the button to click next. So the reminder here basically is to make sure that your passport, the current passport that you're holding is still in good condition. And then it's not lost, not torn. And the information that's key in has to be correct and accurate. And the photo that's uploaded has to be the latest photo. So we're going to click next. And then here's another reminder here. Then we continue on the application. So this is for the photos that are allowed. So the sample here, photos are for the ladies. And then you can scroll down. Some more sample photos for ladies and men. And what passport photos are not allowed thereby causing the application to be rejected. And then after you have looked at all the photos, and then click the to you. And then now here you want to upload the photo. So before beginning application, make sure that you have again taken the photo at the photo studio professionally, and then get a soft copy of the photo, and then download it, and then upload it to this immigration website. And for note here, the file size of the photo has to be at least 50 kilobytes. So upload the photo, then choose the file that you want to upload. And then once the photo has been uploaded, you see the photo in the system. So click the roof scan or continue. And then when you continue, there will be some more checks here to verify your photo. The background has to be white color or Polaroid photo. And then you can look directly at the camera. And then the eyes have to be open and the mouth closed. And then the hair not covering the face. And then the clothing has to be dark colored and covering the shoulders and the chest and then for those who are wearing tudung, songko, kukia or other clothing cannot cover the forehead fully and then you cannot wear spectacles, sunglasses and other accessories on the head and then in the photo, the right and left ears, both ears must be visible in the photos this for those who are not wearing tudung and serban and then there's no flash of the photo on the forehead so if any of these specifications are not met the application will be rejected. So go ahead and check all the relevant boxes and then click the rules scan. So here you want to check again the information. So make sure that the application information, the previous document information and applicant information are correct, such as the type of document, the period that you want to renew the document for, the five years, and then the type of application. So for this tutorial video is Gantian Bertuta Buku. I need to replace the passport. And then make sure the document number, the collection office and also the date for the current passport that you have is accurate. And then make sure that your application name and also the name that is printed and then the IC number, the birth date, also category and then your gender are all correct. And then it also goes for the place of residency, address, marriage status, your race, and also your phone number and email. And then agree with the following declaration that the information is accurate. And then you own the current passport or the expired passport that is with you. And then scroll down a bit to continue to the payment page. So you can check here the collection office and also the amount that you need to pay for that passport application. So continue to payment. So the next page here is the application information. So check again the form number and also the type of document and then the collection office and also the time of the collection. So you can update your information here. If not, then you scroll down. And then when you scroll down to the application status here, you stay here that payment has not been made. Continue to payment. So you're going to click to pay and then fill in your credit card information and then click pay now. So then you will be brought here to the next page where it says that the payment has been successfully made and then you have to download and print the receipt. So at the bottom here, check up receipt which is to print the receipt and save it in your computer. So here's a sample of the 
receipt, you have the IC number, stated address, receipt number, time, date, and form number, and also the amount that was paid. So what you want to do is to remember and to take note of the receipt number and the form number again, because these numbers will be important when you want to schedule your appointment with an immigration office later. So after the payment has been made, within 24 hours, you should receive an email from the immigration office whether the application has been approved or not approved, whether it's LULUS or DIDAC LULUS. If DIDAC LULUS or not approved, it will be mentioned why and what to do next. If it is LULUS or approved, click the link in the email to STO to make an appointment, which is System Temu Janji Online. So click the link to go to the STO 2.0. So in the appointment applicant in this page here, in the type of applicant or category of application, choose the type of applicant. So for this video, we're going to choose Malaysian because we are Malaysian renewing the passport. And then type in your full name as according to your IC and passport and then click next. And then here's the appointment information. So go ahead and choose the state that you are in or the state that you want to collect the passport from. And then choose the immigration office and also the service that you want to use for. So for this video, we want to collect the passport or passport collection or promo time passport. And then you can choose the appointment time and so the available date to collect the passport. And then below here, you want to key in the form number and also the receipt number for the passport. Then click next. And then the next page here, in the contact information, key in your address, your city, your zip code, state, and also telephone and then phone number and then click next and then here's the term and condition after reading it check it and then click submit so you've been brought to the next page here so this is not a slip appointment what you want to do now is go to home and then click search my appointment and then in the search criteria here you can key in your passport if that means your current passport that you have with you or your ID number which is your IC number or your booking or appointment reference number so for this video, we're going to key in the IC number and then click search. And then you can download the Slip Temu Janji STO or the appointment slip. So here is the appointment reference and then the name and then the what type of transaction it is and where to collect your passport and also the date and the time and the slot for the application and the appointment. So download this form and so print it and then you also receive an email from STO on your application with the STO. So on the date of the appointment, go to the immigration office, make sure to bring with you your IC, your previous or old ex or expired passport, or printed copy of the official receipt, and printed copy of the Shrik Temu Janji STO. So inside the immigration office, you want to give your current passport or the expired passport, along with the official receipt, and also the Shrik Temu Janji STO to the immigration officer. And then once your name is called by the immigration officer, go there to do your thumbprint and also verify that the new passport information is all correct and accurate and then you can collect your passport. So that's it. This is the whole process of how to renew your passport online and to also eventually collect your new passport at the immigration office. So thanks for listening and watching this video. If you find this video and information helpful, I appreciate you can like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.